Hello, we make a new pixel LED stripe controls over Wi-Fi. The Internet of Thing thing, sort of. All we need is this Lua board, an ESP8266, an LED stripe, and a level shifter. And bed boards, jumper cable, and current. The board would fit on one breadboard, but we won't have any pins left. So what we do, we combine two breadboards. That fits quite well. We only need one of the digital outputs for our NeoPixel. Um, I think D4 would fit our needs. The ESP works on 3.3 um, volt basis. And the NeoPixel works with 5 volts. It can be controlled with 3.3 .3 volts on the data line, but it would be best if the difference of the control voltage and the supply voltage wouldn't be so high. So we're using a level shifter to balance those different levels out. So we are connecting the 3 volt line, supply line, to the low voltage input and ground, obviously, to ground. Data line four two let's say four on this side. Since we need anyway um, five volt supply voltage, we use this external power supply for the breadboard, and for the level shifter, we use on this side the high voltage the 5 volt as a reference for the level shifting and of course ground to ensure that we have a common ground we also connect this ground one of the ground pins of the ESP Now we can connect the data out, the 5 volt out, and oh geez, no black wire left. And let's also ground to the NeoPixel. Data line in the middle, yellow to green. Red, that's 5 volt out, and the ground pin. And everything assembled. The code is based mainly on the code for an ESP web server, and then because that's what we do, we create a web server that's uh, receiving our requests and sending data to the new pixel. We configure our uh, uh, Wi-Fi. Here's the pin where we connect the um, data line to the new pixel. Beware, you can't use pin 4 because the mapping of the of the NeoPixel is quite different. We use the constant D4. The number of LEDs, we have a 30 LED strip. Brightness is 1 to 254. 150 is okay. 
initialize the new pixel stripe. We're setting the brightness of the stripe. We initialize the stripe. We set it off. And we start the web server. We connect to the server. We call the function handle root. Let's take a closer look at that. Ta -da! That happens when a client connects to the server. We're looking for a request parameter. C for the color. Setting the NeoPixels. We come to it later. And this is the main part where we um, the server delivers a web site. It's a very simple site. A head, title, a small body, a form in the middle. A form with input type color. So we have a HTML5 color picker. Here we set the NeoPixel color. We receive from the color picker value a hexadecimal value with three parts. One part for red, green and blue. We make an uh, an integer out of the number and split those numbers in three parts. This is debug. Setting all the LEDs of the new pixels to that value and show it. That's quite all. Select the node MCU one point and upload the sketch. With help of the serial monitor, we can find out the IP address of the ESP. So, color picker, select a color. As you can see, it's quite simple. If you look in the code, here's just a form the color picker, input type color, that's an HTML5 element, and a span where we can, uh, as a replacement for a button. That's all. And we can filter out this variable, the C, where the color picker has its value in it. Let's see how it works. Changing to red. Changing to blue. Yellow. White. Purple. Glorious. If you want to put it out, just select black. That's all. Bye.